for meeting me today. No worries, I love Psycho. Are you ready to check out some murals? Yes. Come on, let's go. <laughs> So Hong Kong Walls is an organization that gathers artists to showcase their work, but mainly in the form of street art. Yeah, you know, I've actually seen a lot of street murals on Hong Kong. Exactly, it's all over Hong Kong. But the interesting part about this is that the ones in Psycho, they are for this annual street art festival. So every year they have this festival in different districts and 2021, it was in Psycho. Well, that's so interesting because Psycho has always been known for their beaches and their restaurants. And now with the art, it just gives people more of a reason to come. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, this one's spicy. Yeah. I know, right? The interesting thing about Hong Kong walls is that they always want to have the murals inspired by the neighborhood. So the reason behind this is because right there is a chili beef restaurant. Oh, yeah. smell the chili. <laughs> <laughs> so chili and beef. Exactly. This thing is actually done in the court, like graffiti style. Okay. So you have psycho written it popping out. This one's making me hungry now. All right, come <laughs> on, let's go. <laughs> So cute. I love it. <laughs> Look at all the colors and everything. Look at these cabbage babies. And the garlic babies. Yeah, they're, they're so cute. <laughs> right behind this is the vegetable and fruit store. Oh, That's why. Okay, I can see where he grabbed his inspiration. Yeah. I love how large this piece is and everything seems to blend together so well. It's just done so beautifully. Love it. Really. Ooh, this one's giving me Japanese vibes. Very Japanese because yeah. this is a Japanese restaurant. The person, the colors, the fish, the flowers, it all becomes so Japanese. Yeah, yeah. very blended together. And this face is so powerful. It's very prominent, the yeah. gaze. And I love how everything is very colorful in the background, but he decided to do a more of a gray color for the fish and the face, the making pop. it pop, right? Exactly, exactly. Do you know what the inspiration behind the fish was? And I guess also because of the fact that Saikung is a fishing town. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. This one is actually mine. This one is beautiful. So what was your inspiration behind it? So basically it's about my favorite time of the day in different seasons. So we have spring mornings, winter afternoons, fall evenings and summer nights. You know, for me, it's always about personal experience and stories. Yeah. So I like to hide all the details in my own, you know, little secrets in here. <laughs> I have unicorns here. I love castles. I have a castle. It's so and, detailed. And there's a little mermaid right oh, here. I love that. This oh, and so that's here my two dogs. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so sweet. You put all your memories in your artwork. Exactly. I started off as a calligrapher and it wasn't until later that I became a mural artist. Okay. Yeah, I see you did black and white, right? Exactly. You know, funny how a lot of people were walking by and they were like, why are you not adding colors? And I'm like, because <laughs> uh, that's my style. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. You're so talented. <laughs> Thanks so much for showing me around street art today. <laughs> it's my pleasure and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Let's check out more murals next time together. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>